Our spotlight in the NLL continues today with the Southview Cougars. Joining us in studio is the principal, Casey Vins. Thank you for coming in. Hi, happy to be here. <laughs> so this is your seventh year as a principal, a lucky year. And in sports yeah. terminology, you're kind of like the head coach of the school. How is this year going so far? Uh, off to a great start, uh, you know, fall football season. And it just seems like we've got a great vibe going at the school. I know my first Friday night out was at the Battle of Sylvania. Oh, yeah. Really great atmosphere. Yeah. Talk about the community involvement, because I've never seen so many people at a high school game before. Uh, yeah, probably me too. Uh, <laughs> me neither, I should say. I don't know. It's, it, it is just a, a citywide event, whether it's at Northview or Southview. Um, you know, it's standing room only. Anywhere you go, the bands perform together. It's, uh, it's a spectacle. And it runs from, I don't know, it's hard to get a parking place at 5 in the afternoon. So it runs all night. So it's great. Yeah, it was great. And another thing that's great for you all is that you guys were voted the best high school in Toledo by the readers of the city paper for four years straight. That's an honor. Yeah. Why do you think that's been the case for you all? I'm going to tell you, the first year... Um, I kind of downplayed it because it wasn't based on like an objective measure. And I thought, oh, there's other great schools in the area that are beating us in test scores and graduation rate or what have you. And then as we sort of started to accumulate them, I said, hang on a second. These are our own kids and our own teachers and our own parents and community members voting for us. And I don't know. It's a cynical world, and to have your own community voting for you, I just started to grab. We started to own it, and now we love it. And I know it's going to come to an end at some point, and I'm going to be upset. Like it's, <laughs> it's just a good thing that we have that we can hang our hat on. And so Southview is a comprehensive school. You have a lot of career tech programs. Yeah. What are some of those that you guys offer? Um, geez, well, the first thing I'll say is you can travel between Northview and Southview. So between the two, That's I neat. think there are 13 programs, okay. and so we do a good job covering. Let's say computer programming, um, construction, horticulture, med tech. Um, you guys were there covering um, the, the ARCA race car that was there from the Maynard series. Um, just hearing the driver talk about all the angles. Um, one particular, we invite our um, computer graphics design or visual communications, I think it's called. Uh, we invited that class because the woman who was making the wraps She's making like six or seven a week. You don't think about it, but like the cars, even when they're not crashing, they're scraping against the mm -hmm. wall. So they're having to redo the sides. She's making like six or seven a week and making like $170,000 a year. Oh, wow. And this is a job where like, you know, you finish your training in high school. There's probably some additional training, but it's not like you need this advanced college degree. And that's what we want people to understand. And the reason we throw the word comprehensive in there, it's like our kids are sitting in one of our I think it's 24 AP classes, might be sitting in a career tech program later on. Like we try not to just stigmatize anyone and just say like, these are opportunities that are gonna prepare you for life after high school. And so you're not a native from Northwest no. Ohio. You said that the University of Toledo is what brought you yeah. here, but Sylvania School Districts is what kept you here. Yeah. What has the Sylvania School District meant to you? At this point, everything. It's, it's hard to believe. I've lived more of my life in Sylvania than I have anywhere else. And I didn't even know what Sylvania was when I was a senior at Toledo. Um, got placed at Southview for student teaching and I've never looked back. I've taught in both high schools. I've been an administrator in both high schools. My family, my, my wife lives here. Obviously, we live together. My, <laughs> my kids go through the schools. And I... I'm never leaving. I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. It, it is the community. It's what you touched on for the the um, North U South U game. It's when the whole community gets together. You see old friends. Um, there's just a common language amongst people who have lived here and been here. And we sort of. And now that I've been here for 25 years, it's it's like I feel part of the part of the community. That's awesome. And I'm sure the community is showing their same respect to you and glad yeah. to have you kind of guiding the ship for them. For sure. I appreciate that. Yeah. Awesome. We appreciate you coming in the studio to talk yeah. about the Cougars. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime.